While squatting down to take a piss in a bathroom stall, I read, gender is a universe and we are all stars scribbled on the wall. I was so in awe by this, I went home and poured myself a flask. I crawled on top of the roof to ponder what I read. I stared with amazement at the vastness of constellations and just wondered if God had become an angry drunk because of the ignorance and intolerance he sees in us. How we like to stereotype, criticize, nick, pick, compare black and white, judge each other based on our pant size and hairstyles. I guess this is why almost every time I go out at night, someone always wants to ask me, oh, <laughs> excuse me, hey, um, are you a dude or a dyke? And all I want to say is, um, hey, dude, brah, I don't know. How about you ask your girlfriend since she's the one who went down on me last night? <laughs> True story. But I refrain and just say, well, I'm a little bit of both and sometimes neither. Give him a hug, then walk away as he stands there, intrigued, still trying to figure me out. And I'm not really offended as much as I am saddened by how it never occurred to this guy that people's sexual preference does not diminish the fact that we are all still human. It's an atrocity that we still have to be reminded of this. Did you know that it took nearly 300 years after the first American settlement before the white men acknowledged that people of color have souls too? And I wonder if it's gonna take another 300 more before people quit telling me that they think it's cute that I kiss girls as if my lifestyle is some trendy fa fashion statement, gay till graduation bullshit, like I'm a curious exhibitionist. I wish my mom would quit telling me that this is a stage I'm going through and learn to appreciate that this is a skin her daughters finally feel comfortable enough in for me to tell her about girlfriends. Because from the second grade until I was a sophomore in college, I was taught to camouflage my feelings because the state of Mississippi has it written that love can only exists between a man and a woman as if a state has the right to dictate who you want to spend the rest of your life with. But on nights when I'm sleeping next to my wife back in Austin, Texas, I can't help but wonder about the ones still struggling in my hometown like Mikey, who had to put a silencer over his heartbeat because it thumped too loud whenever Andrew walked into the room. He was afraid that the church would condemn him. Or Irene, who used to dye her hair bright blue to distract people from staring in dismay at her and Shay's interlocked fingers, whose only crime was wanting to grow old together. As if homosexuality is some sort of disease instead of just another form of loving. Tonight, I don't want to have to explain myself. Maybe I'll just get drunk with God again so he can hear me when I ask him to keep an eye out on Irene or Mikey or anyone else who's being taught to be ashamed of themselves for their feelings. Tonight, I don't want to have to explain myself. I don't want to be distinguished as gay, straight, lesbian, dude, or dyke, just human. Because like I read, gender really is a universe. And when are we going to accept that we are all but mere stars, a part of the same great galaxy?